Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. This is going to be a reading for the collective for February 11th to February 17th, 2022. You versus them. And you know the drill. I mean, take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also feel free to swap it around. Okay. So, yeah, I, and I also am working on um, the next 48 hours. Um, I will be posting those after I get my nail done. <laughs> Just this one nail. I'm, I'm, it's bugging me looking at it. So I'm going to go fix it. But yeah. And then I'll be doing the next 48. Okay. You versus them. February 11th. I mean there could be children involved in this. Or there was a lot of childhood traumas. But February 11th to February 17th. 2022. You versus them. Three more shuffles. February 11th to February 17th. 2022. One last shuffle. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. So you guys um, could be manifesting a lot of things. Also using like the law of attraction to bring things into fruition for you. Uh, but with attraction here, true love, healing family issues. So um, you could be very attracted to someone here that, you know, you guys have a lot of love for each other. Um, you guys will end up getting married again. There could just have been a lot of childhood traumas and stuff like that that were an issue, let go of control issues. And on your person side, make the effort. So they just need to reach out. Um, I feel like you know you're on your road to righteousness here, and they just pretty much need to reach out. You know, and not worried about how this is going to go. Because the thing is, if you were like abused as a child, you know, touched or abused, um. You're going to have control issues as an adult because you couldn't control things as a kid. It's psychological. It's a mental thing. So that could be something for you guys. Like you didn't really have the best childhood. So both of you guys have controlling tendencies. Yeah, release your ex. But they might have to get rid of someone first before they come in. That's only for some of you guys. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. As soon as I split the deck. Unfinished Symphony. This is not over. February 11th to February 17th. Loyal Heart. And you guys still love each other. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. There's just a lot of emotions here. One last shuffle. Emotion. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. But I feel like both of you guys are growing here. Um, with the message in a bottle, this person could be working up the courage to message you or vice versa. Uh, fork in the road right now. It's like a choice is being made. Thinker. Right now, I feel like you think about this person um, and you would like, you know, the end all be all with them. And you guys do get along. You guys could also be seeing a lot of 444. It's just only a matter of time before they make effort. Um, I feel like, you know, this is going to... They could be spending a lot of time on that app TikTok, but you guys are going to be working together. Right now, I feel like both of you guys are spying on each other and they will be taking action to be with you. February 11 to February 17th. Uh, but they might be needing your help, so be kind, okay? Part of our lessons in life is how we handle those who mistreat us. So they might be needing your help because this is not over. Exchanging gifts and you guys are going to be complimenting each other. That's like teamwork. So, you know, you've attracted this. You know, someone that you could grow with. I think I might just do all oracles for this one. Let's just keep it all short. Like, I have um, three more oracles I could do. And I don't even have to touch the tarot deck I have over here. Bad A. So, let's see. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. Two more shuffles. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. One last shuffle. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. So, um, you guys have been... <laughs> kind of been through a lot in life, okay? I mean, it wasn't easy, right? I mean, imagine going up a hill with this rock on your back, like... I'm not going to be easy, bro, but I could do it. <laughs> you know, I just feel like, um, yeah, you guys have had a tough time in life. You know, it wasn't 
a very smooth sailing it could also be with this person you could feel like oh like it was always you know like it's taking forever uh because of the resistance uh but i feel like there's is new beginnings there Well, I was like, I forgot which way I was doing it, so it, like, messed up my vibe. But the darkness. You could be kind of left out, wondering, just thinking about this person. Like, is this happening? Should I move on? But there's 40-40 here, so I feel like you guys are mirroring. That's 4-4-4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. You have 4-4-4-4-4s, four, 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 which is divinely guided and protected. So you guys, in this connection, are divinely guided and protected. Um, there could be a lot of temper... You see, like, again, that these control issues, these addiction issues, they got to go. I feel like your person kind of is accepting things like, okay, I, and it's another four. <laughs> that they have to um, put in the work for this to be a firm foundation. So there's massive changes here, but I feel like you don't know about it because of this darkness card here. Uh, but I feel like it's because both of you guys are reclaiming your power. And here on your person side, you know, I feel like... um. They know that this could create a lot of abundance for them. Yeah, abundance on your side. Fruit on their side. And they will be having a lot of material items. Um, they will be attracting a lot of material items. I feel like you're going to be helping this person manifest. Because I feel like you're a few steps ahead of them. You have the abundance here. And then we have the attraction on their side. It's like they're trying to bring in abundance. Which could be bringing you in. It's just this fear in the center for this new beginning. You guys are both avoiding it. But you guys are both waiting for each other. Patience. Self-reflection. So there's a new beginning here. You guys have manifested a new beginning where you guys could grow. February 11th. To February 17th, 2022, 2022. February 11th, to February 17th, 2022. One more shuffle. February 11th, to February 17th, 2022. Last shuffle. So there is a bigger picture here at play. Uh, you know, this person could have more lessons to learn than you do. Uh, but you're very close to achieving your goal. A win-win outcome is forecast. This will work out. That is karmic justice as well. So everything happened karmically according to plan. I feel like you need to get out there more. You guys could be isolating a lot. Yeah, I know when you're like on the road to righteousness and spirituality, you kind of become like a monk where you just kind of want to stay to yourself a lot. But don't be afraid. You can go back out there. Don't be afraid to step outside, okay? There's a lot of emotions here. It could also be with this person. You might be afraid to date them. But with the abundance here and the attraction... Your hard work is paying off, you see, on their side. Um, I feel like this will actually be a blessing. You and your loved ones are safe. Again, divinely guided and protected. Your dreams need a practical plan. You guys need to be reasonable about this. You guys need to stop being petty. And on your person's side, take time to breathe out. They need to um, just relax. They could be working a lot. But you guys are going to be very lucky. Don't let your past hold you back, okay? Whatever it is that you do in your life, just release all that negativity. Like me, myself, I mean, I'm having a hard time, like, be bold and make the first move. And and I will, I, I will um, talk about, you know, what I'm having an issue with. You know, I'm having an issue with um, showing my face on YouTube because I've been bullied a lot in my life for no reason. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not ugly. <laughs> I guess that's why they picked on me. But, um... Uh, yeah, so, you know, that's something that you just have to release all that negativity. And this Venus uh, retrograde kind of kicked my A. But um, I'm, <laughs> I've been doing that healing, you know, so I can uh, eventually do like a, hey, what's up, guys? But it's not important. It's just a stepping stone for me, though. Um, but, yeah, I feel like your person could be working a lot. And they kind of need to relax um, and just take a break, you know. Um, and both of you guys need to not be so serious. And be reasonable about what it is that you're wanting. It's like if you're wanting this person, you're wanting this thing, you can't, like, and then you have this person blocked from everything. It's like make yourself available at the least. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, you have to have one aspect of entrance in there. But, yeah. Okay, so you versus them. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. Two more shuffles. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. So, I feel like you are very wise. You are very reasonable. Um... And that could be why this person is worried. Like, they want to come talk to you, but they have to put, like, their big boy pants on, coffin, and come talk to you. I mean, it could be big girl pants, you know. But um, this person could be giving you money, um, but you could also be getting money uh, very soon. It's just money that was owed to you back then. Um, it could also be, like, um, debt payments are coming through. People owe you money emotions are running high and they're all coming in um and it's just kind of like they're afraid like I, some of these people are kind of intimidated by you um they're watching you and it, you've just gone off and done your own thing and they can't control you anymore i feel like you've walked away from all your insecurities you're not really afraid of anyone or anything anymore um but this person you see i feel like they could have took a lot of money from you these people and now they're wanting to come back and be in your good graces. But this person may not be financially stable right now. They could be very immature. They could also be... Um, they're healing... They're now on this pathway to healing these childhood traumas. So that they don't be so... You know, they don't have those issues anymore. But that might require them losing a lot in the process. Both of you guys, you know, don't be worried if you guys are broke right now, because that's not going to be the forever energy. I feel like that's just something that you guys are stuck in your head about, like, oh, um, we're going to be broke or something. And I feel like you guys are always going to have a job, like there will always be work, wealthy man, and this person is going to support you. So the lovers, the courtship and concern, I mean, right now they're just worried. So, again, you're manifesting someone that you can actually grow with. Okay? Look at the bigger picture. Sometimes you have to wait longer for your blessings because your blessings are bigger. If you just want to be in love, okay, that's fine. But don't you want it to be something that's... Something that lasts? Something that's stable? Something that's a blessing that can pretty much grow? Don't you? You know, so that being said... You know, you have to be mature about it, okay? Um, this is a blessing from the Most High. Try not to beat yourself up and be stuck. Some good things take time. Look, the Divine Judge right there. About to give you these blessings with this mature person. Who was being fake with you. Could have been fake at one point. Um... But it was there being fake to meet your expectations. You know, there could have been other people in the background and they were worried. They were also worried that you were going to leave them for someone else. Uh, but this was all just in their head from what it looks like. And that's something they've been changing uh, for this marriage, you know, divine marriage union type of thing. I get so lost in the bottom of the deck. Those are things that are coming up the pipeline and you don't even know it. See, you're the main person to them. They're just beating themselves up about it. So, February 11th to February 17th, 2022, the Phoenix. There's a new phase here. February 11th to February 17th, 2022. You versus them. All Oracle reading, last shuffle. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, we have the Phoenix. Again, changed mind, growth, um, cassette. But you guys could have some... It's kind of like... Like when you have some bad leftovers and that residue comes up, you know, I feel like you guys have a lot of people that you could still be like stringing along or like um, just there's some, you know, you think this person is stringing you along or they think you are. And I feel like there's a new phase here. With the butterfly, I feel like you've evolved, you spread your wings, you flew. And that allowed this love to make the heart, you know, because distance makes the heart grow fonder. Sometimes you have to allow the person to miss you, you know, and that'll make the love grow. And I feel like that's something that happened here. 
Um, this person wants to work on it. Hammer. You know, they want to rekindle this. They want to work on it. And I feel like you still love this person. You just, this is going to take some time, okay? You guys are going to have to cycle out of that old cycle and new energy, okay? Um, but I feel like right now you guys could be separated, um, but you guys are connected. You guys are one, and there's going to be massive changes. There's going to be a tower, and then they're just going to come, and you guys are going to have to make new memories and learn from the past, okay? Love call. Addiction. They're hooked on you, and you guys are going to end up healing together, okay? Okay? Um, it's a strong sexual connection as well, but they're going to be making healthy choices with you. Um, you could be meeting up with this person here and both of you guys have faith, um, in this connection. They have narcissistic tendencies though, and that could be why you tend to get stuck in your head. Like, are they going to do me dirty again? Um, and I feel like that's over with the Grim Reaper. That's over with. Because you could have kept calling this person a snake. Or it's because of your boundaries. The sword and the truth. You just knew to have boundaries with this person. And now they're watching you. And now they miss you. And they just want this wedding rings. This twin flame thing. And this heart with the key. You guys are the one. So if you guys are dealing with the twin flame thing. You guys are going into the divine marriage. Okay. It's not everybody is on that journey. If you've been with me on this Angry Advice Tarot journey since like the beginning you're most likely getting into union okay um because i'm on the road to righteousness i only do what god tells me to do <laughs> I, I don't i surrender uh but um the phoenix and the chaser self-indulgence someone is uh going to be chasing you here this person could have you know cared about chasing other people but now they're worried about themselves but they tend to get um, insecure. But I feel like that's a mutual energy. You guys truly just love each other a lot. And um, there's a lot of energies at play here. So it's going to be a new phase. Trying to be mature um, about everything that happened in the past. I'm not trying to step on anyone's toes about trauma. You know, trauma is to each their own how you react. But alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. Um, as we saw, there's new beginnings. Um, there's major attraction here. Uh, this is something that can grow. Uh, both of you guys just have to be mature. This is a new phase. And there's a bigger picture here. Okay? But alright guys. Much love. Please take care of yourselves. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.